Well, the good Lord's been extra good to me today. Uh, I wasn't planning to buy anything, but I got up and I looked online and there was a feller that had some banjos for sale. And the price was a little bit unbelievable. You know, sometimes you hear about people doing scams and things and they, they put something up for sale and you know that that can't be right because nobody would sell something that's worth that much for that price. But this guy had five banjos for sale. Five, count them. One, two, three, four, five. Here, let me show you. One. That's an old vintage K. And that's, there was a guy, a uh, famous old banjo player. I, I ran across a picture of him this morning. He's playing one like that. This one's a homemade banjo. They, they used to be a, a magazine that would talk about how to make your own banjo. I believe this is one of those. This one here's got a really nice neck and, and a fairly decent pot. But I might put that neck on a, oh, I got some tuba phones and I got a Gibson. I got some things back here. And that neck would really, would really work on one of them real good. This one here's got a nice spun over aluminum pot, maple spun over aluminum. And that's a long neck banjo like old Johnny Hartford used to play a long neck banjo. And then this one here is called a tack banjo because the, t the head is put on with tacks. And that's a fretless banjo, which... Uh, uh, I've never tried to play old George. Old George had taught me to play claw hammer. Used to play a fretless banjo. So this fellow had them for sale and I called him. I said, hey, if you serious about selling all them banjos for that price, I'll come get them. And he said, I'm serious. So I went and got him and I met this young fellow and he's a musician, a banjo player, uh, a, a school teacher, just a heck of a nice guy. And I walked in his house, and it was like walking in my house. It was just chock full of banjos everywhere you look. I was like, wow. I said, you know, I got a serious banjo addiction. He said, yeah, me too. But it turns out he's got a Ford pickup truck, about a, I'm going to guess it could be 67, 77, 60. Anyway, you'll see it because we was out there, and he said, because we was talking about stuff, you know, and, and he said, well, I wish I could find somebody to make this pickup truck run right. And I said, what's wrong with it? And he explained it to me. I said, well, heck, that ain't nothing. That just needs a carburetor cleaned out. He said, I can't find a mechanic can do it. And I said, well, you found one now. So he's going to be bringing up that truck, and I'm going to go through the carburetor and the fuel system. And I explained to him about not putting ethanol gas in it and all that. So, so uh, you know, I've been down there working on the, on banjo shed and trying to get me a little building out there so I could work on them but this gives me oh I'm just my head is just spinning I know some of y'all have different things that you love you know and uh, for me this this right here man I mean I mean I mean this right here I mean oh that, that gets me all excited so <clears throat> That kind of started my day off going in a different sort of direction. Look at that, look at that unique kind of shape of that headstock right there. Hmm, yes sir. So, I'm gonna head down there. I had, uh, I, I, I'm just gonna head, see, I just, I just can't hardly keep, look at that. Look at, see the, I know that a lot of y'all don't know what I'm oohing and aahing about, but, man, look at that, look at that armrest. Look at that head ring. Look at those, look at those n n nuts. Those, uh, those, those, you know, there's two kind of, kind of shoe bolts and one kind is a screwdriver type and the other kind is that kind and that's my favorite kind. This is all, this is all nickel plated brass stuff right here. That little, oh man, I'm just gonna, I'm just telling you, I am excited. Oh, I'm excited. Oh. Oh, I'm excited. And, uh, and Waylon Wire, you scoundrel. <laughs> Bless your heart. I'm happy you fixing up that burned up rat rod, dear. You ought to paint some flames on it while you're at it. <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? Paint some flames on it. <laughs> oh, yeah.